Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. And I'm Marcella Lee live tonight in the Mountain View area where things are in full cleanup mode today. I'll tell you, I have been here since this morning working for you to bring you the very latest on the aftermath of the flooding. I'm hearing constant sounds of trucks moving in, moving out. There's hammering, there's pounding, people breaking tiles. You just heard people knocking down walls. Everyone is here bringing things out of their homes to dry them out. A lot of people telling me that they had to wait for their insurance adjuster to come before they could really move and take things out. You see family heirlooms. I see two grandfather clocks in this family's yard that were treasured pieces. You've got bed pieces, mattresses, all kinds of things that once meant a lot to people in this neighborhood. I want to take you now up to the sky and give you a look of this street that I'm on. I'm on 42nd Street. This is a live look from our drone. 42nd Street in Mountain View. And for those of you unfamiliar with this area, here's a landmark reference. We are about six miles east of the Coronado Bridge, just west of the 805. And this was one of the hardest hit areas on Monday. You might be able to see there is a flood channel right behind these homes. And homeowners say the city is to blame for the severe flooding because the city has not kept these channels free of vegetation and debris. I think you can also see the activity on this street, piles of debris in front of people's driveways. Let's take a look at what it looked like from our drone on Tuesday. This is when the area was just starting to dry out after being buried in mud. It is going to be a long road for people affected by this flooding. Today I met one family, like so many others, not only dealing with the physical cleanup, but some emotional heartache as well. They are sifting through their shelves uh, because the water was so high. It actually damaged things that were sitting on shelves. This family sharing what's left of a photo album with me. This is a high school diploma that they were able to salvage. You can see the mud line on it, but for these people, the damage really touches the heart. Uh, well, we have their photos here, his mom's photos of all of them as kids, um, and they were just absolutely soaked. I met the Bermudas family today, Aaron and Christina and Aaron's mom, Anna, who has spent hours trying to save these priceless photos. This is my mom. She's not here. She's in Mexico. And we went to Disneyland with all the fun. <laughs> with all my boys and my husband. It has been an incredibly emotional few days for them. They've had to throw away years worth of pictures and this is what is left. These are the ones they could save. My, uh, my birthday, 17 years old. You know, none of these are digital and each one holds a memory. She had photos of when she was a kid. She was raised by, by her grandma or grandpa. She had photos of them. They already passed away. Just, just things that cannot be replaced, you know, things that money can't buy. Aaron and Christina are newlyweds, and this was their dream home. They just moved in in September. Look how happy they were here, posting, celebrating. We purchased our first home in San Diego. They just spent $20,000 in renovations, but now look, their entire house is gutted because of the flooding. Since Monday, they've been working nonstop to get out all of the mud. They have fans in here. They're trying to prevent mold. They've cut away the drywall, and they still cannot believe the amount of water that rushed into their home. Look at so that's our backyard. You see the water level is really low. It's coming from the front. Oh, wow. Two feet of water that's gushing coming from in the front. from the front. And again, there are things that just cannot be replaced. Yesterday, Anna spotted this red backpack in the trash, and she told her son, hey, grab that. That has all of my immigration papers inside. So we grabbed them out of the rubble, but I mean, there's nothing we can do with these. These are completely soaked. There's Naughty, look, it's completely white. There's no words on these at all. I don't even know if we can get these papers back. This is proof of her living in the United States since she's been here, so. So in addition to refurbishing their home from the start and renovating their house, they have all this paperwork that they now have to track for that trail. Both the Salvation Army and the San Diego Foundation have set up ways that you can help donate to those who were impacted in Monday's floods, and we are partnering with both of them. You can find more information and ways to help all of these families, many of them who have been left with nothing, on our website, cbs8.com slash help. We know that a lot of you have reached out to us trying to find ways to help, and we wanted to make it easy for you to find a trusted source. Now, coming up tonight at 6, Carlo, I'm going to be talking to one of the women who confronted Mayor Todd Gloria about the city's lack of keeping those storm drains clean. Her name is Mary, and this is actually her front yard. I'll be coming to you with her story tonight at 6. Back to you.